What actually killed the great Kenneth Copeland? Prophet by Angel reveals what killed Kenneth Copeland. And I think it is very uh, important that we chance ourselves upon this information. I want everybody to take time, watch this video, and see what Prophet by Angel have to say about what caused Kenneth Copeland's you know, demise, right? Let's go. The numbers. How many of you? have seen right today as you were walking here you saw a dead bed where is the uh, cemetery where is the cemetery who buried them today do you think no bed died you are thousands here not one of you is on their way here encountered a dead bed what about jackals not today elephant do you think they did not die? There is someone who is able to pick them up. Put them in their respective cemeteries. Without them worrying. They are not even thinking about it. Yet there is a God who... Hi. You are busy planning about a funeral plan. I pay this amount every month. I pay this amount every month. <laughs> Kenneth Hagin as an ambassador do you know what he said he said when I'm about to leave this earth I will tell you and cancel my appointments before time Charles Kepps told the people I'm going on a long journey but this is my last service they said where he said don't worry you will not be able to conduct me <laughs> then the day he was dying came. Kenneth Hagin took his wife and they were having breakfast very early in the morning. 7, 8 a.m. And he took sausages there, eggs. And as his custom would be, he would take the biggest sausage from his plate and put it in his wife's plate right there. Just write that part, that, that part where you, the big sausage. I got you this one. Some of you will be like, yeah, you know, the wife bewitched here, him, bewitched him. Big, put the big sausage there. And he said, cancel my meetings. Called everyone. Started canceling. Said, invite our friends. They called the friends to eat with them breakfast. In the same room, he looked at his wife, pushed his plate aside, smiled at his wife, and he put his chest, his chin to his chest. And the wife said to the friends, there goes my husband. You die like a fool. No one you have told you are going. No one. Die by accident. Herod was giving a speech. A strong speech. As he was fighting the Lord Jesus, he was giving a strong speech. And the Bible says worms start to eat him up. While he was giving a speech, worms were eating him. He was the breakfast of something else. What happened? He just died. Did he give you a warning? Uh, nothing. But I was eating with him last night. We were together. He even spoke to me on the phone in the morning. Ah, dead. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about last night? Did he even hint on leaving? No. Ah. So he himself didn't know? No. Ah. I pray. If God tarries, whether you depart by any kind of way, have a hint at least two years before. <laughs> you don't even know where you're going to be buried. I know. Sit down. Some of you are so afraid. 
You know what the Bible says? Just that my people are very slow. You know what the Bible says? It says he came to deliver them. So basically, that's what Prophet Benjamin said about uh, Kenneth Copeland, what killed him. And, you know, this is amazing a video. So, guys, if you really love this one, be sure to subscribe, share, and like this video. I'm out.